Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Woo! Yes, let's all clap for ourselves. Yay! Yay. You all made it here at day two of WordCamp Toronto. Uh, let's raise hands. Whose first time is this at WordCamp Toronto? Awesome. Whose first time is it at a WordCamp, period? Yay, you're my favorite people. Um, I. <laughs> you've already found the secret. You're here. You've, you've been a part of the community. Um, yeah, loyal, exactly. No, I think uh, both ends of the spectrum, whether it's your first time at a WordCamp or you've been going to WordCamps for a while, you can sometimes let yourself get the best of you and not necessarily walk into the community or to a WordCamp or to a meetup, um, being able to get the most out of it. And so I'm hoping this morning in my talk that you will learn some things that will help you feel empowered to go into the world, to go into this hallway, to go into your schools and your offices and your home lives and make an impression on somebody, whether it's one person or a million people. What you do and who you are is unique and important, and I'm here to help tap into that this morning. So my talk is called You Have Two Hands. I'm Shada Tarabi. I'm at Shaptora on Twitter. And if you would like to tweet, you can use my handle and the hashtag give back because the whole point of this talk is to learn how we can give back to the WordPress community by leveraging our superpowers. Oh, that's weird sound. There we go. So I'm Shada Tarabi. I work at WP Engine. We are a managed WordPress hosting platform based in Austin, Texas, which is where I call home. I love it. It's beautiful and it's very, very hot. So I'm enjoying wearing some sweaters and scarves and things like that. But I'm a little bit with you. It's a little too cold at this point. <laughs> um, part of my <laughs> job at WP Engine was to manage our event program. And so for the last three and a half years, I spent my time going to WordCamps all over the world and investing time in all the amazing communities that make WordPress what it is. And one of the things that I've learned from that is that the WordPress community is so very unique in the sense that everybody that I have met, whether it's in Canada or it is in the Netherlands or it is in San Francisco, California, shares one similar trait. They are very, very genuine people. And what I mean by that is you can sit down next to somebody who you might not know. You can sit down next to somebody who you might have seen on Twitter and not met in person. And they are 99.9% .9 of the time, there's always you know, room for some error, willing to have a conversation with you and share, you some, share with you things and teach you something. And so I don't think that we fully take advantage of that. And from the things that I've seen and been hearing at WordCamps, it's possible to grow your network, to make your business improve, to find opportunities, to also be giving back to the WordPress community to make sure that it continues to grow, all just by being who you are and showing up to WordCamp like you did this morning. So I'm now product marketer at WP Engine for the past three months. It's been super fun. I enjoy working at that company. Um, I've been to over 30 WordCamps. I honestly have no idea how many just because there's been so many, but they are. They're, they're such cool events. And so for those of you who it's your first time, welcome. I'm so happy that you found this amazing place because there are so many people here who are knowledgeable, helpful, willing to help get you connected. And we'll get into a little bit more of maybe why you're here and what you're trying to get out of today or this weekend, really. Um, I like to consider myself a dot connector. So for me, we're talking about superpowers. One of the things that I think that I'm really great at is meeting a lot of people and knowing what you're good at, and I categorize that in the back of my head. So let's say I meet my friend Justin, who I met at Oda Word Camp a couple months ago, and he says, you know what? I am really afraid of upgrading my WordPress. It makes me scared. I don't know how to do it. My host doesn't really help me right now, and I've got to push the button, and it's scary. Well, you know what? My friend Dustin is a specialist in upgrading WordPress, and I say, I'm going to connect you two. And then they meet, and then they become lifelong friends, and yada, yada, it's super fun. Um, and then personally, I'm a food blogger. WordPress has opened up doors for me from the people that I've met, the things that I've been able to see, the skills that I've been able to learn. And for me, not only doing WordPress for my job, but WordPress is part of my passion. I love tinkering with it and learning new plugins to leverage on my site and themes that I can implement or ways that I can make my site do things that I didn't know that it could even do. And it's all because of a lot of the people in this room and a lot of the people in this conference and a lot of people in this community as a whole. And so just by opening myself up to who they are and what they bring to the table has allowed me to, to make myself better, to make my site better, to make what I do easier and more fun in the end. So everybody <laughs> always you know, kind of wonders where my talk title comes from. And it's a quote from Audrey Hepburn. She 
basically has this idea that you have two hands and one of them is to help yourself and one of them is to help others. And I think that it's a really simple idea, but it has a lot of really powerful meaning behind it in the sense that you absolutely should be thinking of how you can grow your personal brand, your business, further yourself in your life, but you also have to think of how you're gonna help make an impact on other people. It can't be one-sided. You have to basically give to get. And so the WordPress community is so generous. Um, for a lot of you, it's your first time at WordCamp, and so some of the expertise that I kinda wanna share with you is Everybody who puts on a WordCamp does it for free. They do it out of the goodness of their hearts. They go and they pull together the sponsorship money. They pull together the speakers. They curate the event. And that's just a WordCamp weekend happening in one city right now that you guys are experiencing. There's at least three or four WordCamps happening on this very weekend right now all over the world. There's WordCamp weekends happening literally every weekend of every week in a year. So you can just imagine there's so many people who are giving up their time and energy to make sure that something like this is possible for you and me. And if we can just open our eyes to that and realize that they're taking their time to make something like this happen, what can we do? Maybe we can't organize a conference because we aren't organized and that scares us. Fine, you don't have to. But just opening your eyes to the possibilities of what are you good at and what can you share with your community and what can you share with others to help make them better, to help make your community better, to encourage somebody else and make them feel that they're important. So I wanted to kind of, this is interactive, I really wanna get you guys excited and engaged. I think a big part of the community is the connections and making sure that we're actually interacting with each other. It's fine, you guys are all on your computers, we're a WordPress conference, a WordPress community, but so much of the day-to-day -day happens on a computer that when you come to an event like this, like we're people, we have reactions, we have emotions, we have desires and abilities and things that brought us all here this morning. And so I just wanna take a moment for you guys to kind of engage with me and think back to what it was like when you were a child. How did you view the world? What did you, what did you wanna be? What were your aspirations? Does anybody wanna share with me? Anthony. Anthony wanted to be an astronaut. Did you think about Am I going to have to go into, you know, computer science degree and I'm going to have to, you know, probably work, what is it, they have to be in the military of some sort before they can actually go become an astronaut? Like, when you're a child, do you think about all those things? Or do you just think, I want to go fly a big I rocket? I like, this is close enough, I can make a place <laughs> on a computer. <laughs> so you're trying to find your reality in any way that you can. Um, anybody else want to share? I wanted to be a mom. Wanted to be a mom? Wanted to take care of other people. Little people, when they get to a certain age or height, it's like, and somebody else can. <laughs> She's at WordCamp this weekend. How, how old is she, if you don't mind me asking? She's 23, see how cool is that? I, I just wanna share also, um, so I work in WordPress, I've been working in WordPress, uh, I've been using WordPress for nine years because it was a great tool for me when I was doing blogging when I was in college, but getting a job at WP Engine was kind of a next step for me to get the experience, get the exposure, going to so many WordCamps. I was just able to be a part of a community and really take advantage of it in the best way possible. And my mother is somebody who is just relentless and a passionate learner and saw how much excitement I was having with WordPress and the things that I was able to do. And she now wants to teach WordPress training classes and goes to the WordPress meetups. And for me, it's something that I feel, you know, able that I was to able to inspire her and be doing something with her on my weekends or on my weeknights. And so just something that WordPress has been able to, to create a safe space for. Um, where this is kind of going is thinking of being a child and looking at the world from a perspective of fresh eyes where anything is possible. I think the older that we get, um, not that we forget that, but we don't necessarily always acknowledge it when we go into different situations. And so one of the things that is really important to me this morning is to get you guys just to really think about removing your perceptions of the world, of WordPress, of the community, of the things that you think that you know when you walked into this room this morning. We're starting fresh, we're starting from square one. The world is your oyster and you really have everything that you need, not only in yourself, but everybody in this room has something special about them that can help make you better at your job, at your personal life, in your friendships, in your family. So to kind of help tell that story, this is Bunny. 
Um, he's been part of my presentations for the last couple months, and it's become quite a story, so you can go read about it. It's Antoinette Portis, it's a children's story. But basically, Bunny is in a box. And what do you guys think Bunny is doing in that box? Chilling. He's chilling in a box? He's trying to get out of a box? Anybody he's else? Speech. He's giving a speech in a box. Those are all great examples. Bunny is actually in a race car. <laughs> he's driving a car. Um, the thing that I love about this story is that Again, from a child's perspective, being able to look at something and have that imagination that anything is possible, that this box can be anything that you want it to be, that, that the world can be anything that you want it to be, that this WordPress community can be anything that you want it to be. So much time, you know, we just come in and come out and we don't realize that we're interacting with people and we're leaving impressions on them and they're learning from us and we're learning from them and we don't do it with intention. Um, I personally am a victim of that. I, I don't give myself the credit or the ability to show up to something and lose my preconceived notions. I show up and I think, you know, that person isn't like me. They just don't get me. I probably have nothing in common with them and I can't learn anything from them, so I write them off. I mean, am I right? Do you guys do that with people every now and then? Yeah, we all do. And it's something that I don't think that we talk about openly, but we do not allow ourselves the ability to take advantage of everybody who we interact with. And I think that that's really the beauty of the WordPress community that I've been able to, to, to find out is everybody who shows up here, whether they are a beginner or a very, very seasoned WordPress developer, has something that you can learn from and something that they can learn from you. And it's important for you to show up open to sharing who you are with somebody else and learning who other people are. So this is a sticker, which I have some up front, that my company makes. Um, for every WordCamp, we create a specific sticker. But what I really wanted this to kind of evoke out of you guys is just getting you to think of why you came to WordPress or WordCamp this weekend. Um, maybe you are an entrepreneur and your business is built on WordPress and you are here to understand what some really great plugins and tools are for you to make your site run better. Or maybe you're a developer and you're here to meet other developers who can challenge your code and help make your code become better. Or maybe you heard about WordPress and you have no idea what it is and you're, you know, there's some event that's happening this weekend and I want to go and I want to see what this is. Um, those are all very valid reasons for being here, but sometimes I don't think those connections are made. I don't know if the entrepreneur ever really sits down with a developer or the new person and if those people really interact with each other. Um, we all kind of show up and we sit with our friends. And not that it's a bad thing, but we're very comfortable doing what we know is, is what's comfortable for us. We do not get out of our comfort zone. And part of coming to WordCamps, again, what I've learned is you can totally sit down next to a stranger and start a conversation, and they're not going to turn you away. They're going to probably answer your question, or if they don't know how to answer, they're going to point you in the right direction. And it's just being willing to sit next to somebody who you don't know, asking them their name, interacting with them, telling them who you are. Because if you don't, then nobody knows your story, and then you can't help empower somebody else to tell theirs. So again, interacting, I want you guys to think about what you're great at. What is your unique skill that when you show up to WordCamp Toronto that you're you know, thinking, if I talked to somebody, that would be what I could share with them uh, is my expertise. Does anybody want to share what they think that they're great at, their superpower is? WordPress upgrades. Destin's is WordPress upgrades. Is anybody else a WordPress upgrade expert? Dustin would be a great person to talk to if you have any concerns or questions about upgrading your WordPress. Shanta? Teaching. Teaching. Does everybody else like to, to teach other people? You like to teach? See, we need teachers because teachers are the people who get up in front of students and they inspire them and, and show them that the world is possible. And without you guys, we wouldn't really be here today. And so it's important for us to recognize that not everybody can be a teacher, but we can all be students of the world and absorbing the things that are happening around us. Um, <coughs> WordPress development, is there any core contributions? See, core contributions. He's actually speaking, what is it, two or three spots after me today yeah, in this room? Yeah, it's like after lunch, and core contributions. Contributing back to core, which I'll touch on very briefly, but this idea that WordPress is an open source project, and sometimes it is really big and scary. and 
um, not really knowing how to contribute back to it is, is a question that I think that we all struggle with at some point, myself in particular, going to so many word camps, just to kind of share my story. I was going to word camps, I was meeting a lot of people, I was having a great time. I love going to word camps. I've been doing it for so long that I can't even imagine my weekend without going to a word camp. Um, but I wasn't giving back anything. I was just showing up and I was taking and I was taking and I was taking. And at some point I had that feeling of how, how can I give back? How can I make my mark? I'm not technical in the technical sense of being able to go into the back end of WordPress and develop somebody's site or to update. WordPress core. Um, I'm actually not very comfortable public speaking, so it was a very scary thought of going and giving a WordPress talk. Um, I was an event manager, so I actually organized a WordCamp last year, which gave me a completely new understanding and respect for how WordCamps actually get organized. And for me, it was learning how to take this very big list of opportunities and figure out what am I good at and how can I give back to WordPress in a way that does good for it, does good for the people who are, who are showing up, who are contributing in their own unique ways. If we all um, were WordPress, uh, let's say, <laughs> core developers, but nobody felt the need to go teach and put on a WordCamp or be a speaker, it would be a little off, offset, right? Right, and it'd be a little offset. So you all have something unique about you that needs to come forward whether it is your first time or it's your 50th time at a WordCamp, again, for me, it took a couple years for me to really realize I have to do something. This community has given me so much. I mean, it is free and WordCamps are such a nominal fee to get the amount of value that you're getting out of it. At some point, whether it's right now or whether you've already felt it or maybe it's when you're driving home and you feel it, some point you're going to feel that tug. How can I begin to give back? And, and I'm more than happy to continue having that conversation with you if you are wanting to figure out ways that you can leverage your superpowers to do that. So what if you said hi to a stranger today? What would happen? They'd say hi back. They'd say hi back. You think they would maybe answer a question if you had it? Do you think that they might have something that you don't know? Like, do they have information that you might not know, or do you kind of walk into a situation thinking that that person can't teach me anything new? You don't know until you ask, right? It's my closer, but yes. <laughs> you do not know until you ask. And that's something that I, again, struggled with for so long, and it's almost become my personal mantra. If I do not ask, I will not know. Whether the answer is yes or no, I just won't know. So whether it's applying for a job, or starting to go to a meetup, or saying hi to a stranger, if I do not take the step forward to even ask the question, I'm not even gonna know what the answer could be. And yeah, 99% of the time, it's probably going to be something positive. Um, just because people wanna talk about themselves, people wanna share who they are, people, I think, inherently want to be somebody who's helpful and gives back to, whether it's a community, or to an individual, or to an organization. We wanna be helpful people, I think, it's part of who we are. We want to be connected. And kind of going back to the computer thing, we do. We live in a very digital world, which is great. You can work remotely. You can have conversations. Like right now, our team is all based in, in Texas for the most part. I can do my work from, from Toronto, Canada, and I don't have to be in Austin, Texas to get that done. But there is something about physically being able to communicate and connect with somebody, hearing their story, and sharing your story with them, something that they can learn from each other. So guess what? You did the hard part. You showed up to WordCamp. I, I really think like the first step is just showing up, whether it is a WordCamp or a meetup or, or just being open to having that conversation with somebody. You did it. So if you're feeling kind of nervous of like, how can I give back? What do I do? You're here. So the next step is just being friendly. Maybe you are still nervous to go up to a stranger and say, hi, I'm Shada, and I, I've been in WordPress for a while, but you know, you're a plugin developer, and I really think that your plugin could help my site. Maybe you don't want to do that. You don't want to have that conversation but maybe a stranger feels compelled to come talk to you and instead of being, you know, oh, hi, nice to meet you, I don't really wanna talk, maybe you can say, hey, you know, this is scary for me, but I would totally love to hear you and listen to your story and maybe be connected and it's just gonna open doors for you and to kind of, you know, talk about some of my friends who are sitting in the front row, <laughs> Shanta, who's one of the organizers of WordCamp Toronto, I can't even remember what WordCamp that we met each other at, but Chicago, Chicago 2013, 2013, 2014, 2014. Um, 
I, again, I meet so many people at word camps and you know, you just think, oh, Shanta wanted a t-shirt from us and I gave her a t-shirt and that was it. You know, you just exchange, it's an exchange, it's a transaction. Um, but it's become so much more. Shanta and I have now seen each other at multiple word camps. We're Facebook friends. She is so thoughtful and genuine and messages me about, you know, graduating with an MBA. It's just, you, like, you just don't know who people are, who are gonna be, who they're gonna be. Like, you just don't know. And, and really, honestly and truthfully, like, I love you and I care about you. And thanks for having me come to your conference and getting to share some of the exciting things that I've learned through WordPress because, gosh, I'm kind of getting emotional, but like, <laughs> I've met so many cool people who have seriously changed my life, who've become mentors, who've become friends, who've become bosses, who've become, you know, just connections for me, all because of this community. And it wouldn't have been possible if I just sat in the back and I didn't, I didn't expose myself, I didn't say anything, I didn't engage with them. And so I'm just challenging every one of you, put yourself out there because it really can be life changing. I mean, I, I cannot think of my life without the WordPress community to this day. And I had no idea what it was going to be when I took the job at WP Engine because honestly, another point to make, I've been doing WordPress for a long time. WordPress was my CMS of choice, but I did not join the WordPress community until I took a job with WP Engine because it's part of our community program is just to be involved in it. WordPress is so big that I don't think everybody who uses it is aware of the community side of things. And just by being able to be exposed to it has seriously impacted my life in ways that I really had no idea was even gonna happen when I took that job. I didn't, I, it was a job. I didn't know that I was gonna meet people, that I was gonna get to travel the world, that I was gonna get to hear stories of how people have done amazing things with the WordPress project and get to be a part of their conversations. So there's this gentleman, um, he's a psychologist, Robin Dunbar, and this is just kind of a little story to get your brains thinking of kind of the capacity of human connections. Um, the Dunbar number is, long story short, basically he was doing some psychological work thinking of how monkeys interact with each other and thought, hey, you know, how can I take that kind of same concept and apply it to human beings? And was doing a lot of work on the human brain and thinking of how many human interactions and connections can we possibly have, like true, genuine, like friendships and relationships. And he came up with a number that was about 100, 150, um, which to me doesn't really sound very large. I feel like I have far more at least connections with people. I mean, at least I look at my Facebook friends list and I've got, it says I have 1,700 friends. That's, you know, what, 100 fold or 10 fold over the 100 number. So, well, let's go off. We're going to dance. <laughs> Move, yeah, everybody move. Everybody move. <laughs> Got you guys to all dance, even though that the lights were not uh, motion censored. Are they motion censored? Maybe. So basically, the Dunbar number, um, the whole concept, kind of put a number to to the table of how many people that we can connect with, and then as technology began to grow, the idea kind of morphed into well, how do you start to kind of quantify that when so many of our connections are happening online, when we're not actually having physical connections with people anymore? We're more or less multiplying the amount of people that we're connected with because we can meet them through this, this internet thing and our relationships grow exponentially. Um, it basically, to me, challenged this idea that your brain has the capacity to have genuine interactions with a large sum of people and we are not taking advantage of what our brain is able to do. You can have genuine conversations, you can grow your network. I think I'm a person who has a lot of, uh, a lot of friends but a small group of close friends and it's something that I am trying to push myself to have more meaningful connections with people because again those are the people who specifically in the WordPress community, have changed my life. And so getting out of that comfort zone of thinking, I can only have a certain amount of people in my circle of influence is, is wrong, it's irrelevant. The world is so big and you should take advantage of it. You should have as many interactions with people as you can because you're making impressions on them and they're making impressions on you. And in the end, it adds to who you are and the things that you're able to bring to the table and those superpowers that you have, you're harnessing them. So online versus offline, how many of you work for a remote company or work remotely? One, two, three. Is it easy? Is it fun? Do you enjoy it? Is it hard, challenging? Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, good days, bad days. Good days, bad days. Well, sometimes you know, I go to a co-working space and it's nice to get to be with other people that may not be working in the same company, but 
but just being like near other people who are also motivated and working on something. Yeah, that's good. I completely agree. I respect and understand both sides of the spectrum. I think there's people who are very comfortable working from home and people who are very fueled by being near other people. Um, and of course, everybody's different and they have to find that kind of happy medium. But again, kind of remembering at the end of the day that we're human beings and we live life connected. Like, could you live with your significant other if they lived in a different country? I mean, there's long distance, sure, but like, could you have a fulfilled life if you were married to somebody who lived in another country full time for like 10, 20 years? Would that relationship probably be very strong? You're shaking your head. No, probably not. Right. I mean, I think that there's a lot of things that we can challenge now because of technology, but kind of going back to the basis of being a human being, we need to be connected. And so just because the internet and WordPress is all happening on your computer, don't forget the in-person interactions. And so again, to remind you, you took the first step, you came to WordCamp, you're here. This is a great place for you to take those online relationships and turn them into offline interactions. But don't let it just stop here. Um, make sure that you're harvesting those and you're fueling them and you're continuing to participate in those opportunities that allow you to meet people face to face because I think it's somebody said it once and I have no idea who said it, but the idea of breaking bread with somebody, sitting down and having a meal, sharing a conversation, there is no, like you can't do that online. You can't smell what the wine is smelling when you're drinking it. You can't, you know, hear their, their crunch of the bread from across the computer screen. Maybe you can, but it's not, you know, the real feeling of it. And so just kind of reminding you guys to not only be thinking of how you can give back, but thinking of how you can really be connected to those people in a meaningful way. And so I say, challenge yourself. Um, I think I mentioned in the beginning of this talk, I usually give this talk on the day, the first day of WordCamp. So going into the after party, I always tell you guys, make sure that you go meet strangers. You go meet three people. I think WordCamp Salt Lake City has that magic number. When their organizers do their opening uh, remarks in the morning, they say, go meet three strangers. And it's always really fun interactions and everybody gets a kick out of it. And so you have kind of the rest of your day today. It's Sunday. I'm the first talk. So you have the rest of the, the talks to go sit next to somebody that maybe you don't know in the hallway, maybe talk to somebody that you otherwise maybe wouldn't have approached and talked to. Uh, maybe this is your local city and you feel, you know, Word, WordCamp was great, where's more, what can I do? There are meetups that you can go to and be a part of. Just get yourself out of, out of your, your routine, basically. Get yourself out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself because when you challenge yourself, that's when you grow. Um, I know that it's something, again, that we think that we, we know. Like, I always feel like, oh my gosh, of course, why would she say that? Like, of course I challenge myself, but, but I don't. I know I don't always challenge myself. Sometimes I take the easy way out. I say, I'm gonna sit with my friends because I don't wanna talk to somebody new, and that's fine. You don't always have to just sit next to strangers because maybe you're having a bad day and you just don't wanna talk to somebody. But I challenge you, when you can, to put yourself out of your comfort zone. Uh, one thing also, actually, um, so I'm a food blogger, and I network for my job, <laughs> and I love it. I go to word camps, I go to meetups, I meet all these amazing people, it's super fun. But one of the things that I'm really bad at doing is networking for myself. And so what I mean by that is my passions and the things that kind of make me me beyond WordPress, which is built on WordPress, my food blog is built on WordPress, but for me, I love eating, I love food, I love... I love when a chef has a really great idea for mixing certain ingredients and preparing a meal in a certain way that is just so visually and multi-sensory, you know, um, evoking that, uh, that that for me is exciting. And so I've turned it into a food blog. And one of the things that I do for my food blog is I go to meetups with other food bloggers. And it's super scary. I just started doing this probably five months ago. I started the blog on WordPress, on WP Engine. It's been great. Um, but for me, I can't just have a food blog online. I have to go out into the community and I have to network and I have to, to interact with people physically. I can't just have online interactions only. The first time I went to this food blogging network meetup, I was so scared. I went by myself and I like to think that I'm an outgoing person and I was still super scared. I mean, I remember going into the room and not knowing anybody and thinking, nobody saw me, I can totally leave, it's okay. But I stayed because, again, I had that mantra of if you don't even ask the question, you're not even going to know the answer. So for me it was, 
how do I know these people are going to reject me or like me if I don't even put myself out there? And so I stayed and I sat next to somebody that was a stranger. And it was really scary, like seriously scary. I didn't even know what to talk to them about, which is weird because we're all food bloggers, but it was that awkward like, so what do you do? Like, well, I'm a food blogger. Oh, duh, me too. And then it kind of got awkward. But over time, I kept putting myself out there. I kept putting myself in these situations where I was connecting with these people and interacting with them and showing up. And now, kind of you know, six months later, I, I can happily say I have friends in that community. I have people that when I go into those events, we can interact with each other. But also at the same time, I have to make sure that when I see somebody new at a meetup, I go and introduce myself. I go shake their hand and I ask them what they're doing. I no longer stand in the back of the room and hang out with the people that I met when I remember that I was the first person who was new in that room. I remember that there's other people who are new too and that they're probably feeling the exact same scared feeling that I'm feeling. And so to kind of translate that into this WordPress community, you might have gone to, let's say, 10 WordCamps and you're thinking, great, I've been going to WordCamps, I know everybody, I don't need to go meet anybody new. But maybe you see somebody who's by themselves, who's sitting in, on a row that has nobody else in the row with them. Like, to kind of maybe ask you guys, you said it's your first WordCamp, right? No, not your first WordCamp? You, no, just kidding, you guys have been to WordCamps before. <laughs> your first WordCamp. Do you know anybody who's sitting in your row with you? They seem very nice, but you gotta meet them, to know them, to hear their story, to hear what makes them them, and to share your story, to impress on them. Um, you have to, you just have to kind of put yourself in that position to remember that you don't know who the other person is, you don't know where they come from, and you don't know what makes them them, and that does not give you the excuse to kind of write them off and to think that they have nothing to share with you. Um, the community really needs you guys to kind of band together, and hopefully I can help inspire you to be a little bit of the glue. Um, let's see, Simon Sinek, anybody knows who Simon Sinek is? Simon Sinek is an author, he's a TED talker, I love TED, TED is, is a great resource for those of you who don't know about it, it's basically a lot of really intelligent conversations from a lot of really intelligent people. Um, so he wrote a book which basically challenges this idea of starting with your intention, starting with your why, and so this quote, to not butcher it, is people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Um, so very, very much so I wanted it to be a point of my conversation of why do you show up to WordCamp? Like why are you here? Why are you a part of the WordPress community? Why do you do what you do? Not how you do it or what you do in the WordPress community, but why are you here? So why are you guys here? absorb what you can absorb. That's awesome. I love that. I have heard so many stories over all the times I've been to so many word camps and meetups of people who say, somebody told me to show up, so here I am. You did it. You did the first, the first step. You did the hardest part. You showed up. And so now I challenge those of you who, who have been a part of the WordPress community for a while and those of you who are new too, to connect with each other, to find somebody who it's their first time and maybe point them in the right direction and understand why you're here, what your project is, what you're trying to get out of it. And maybe they know somebody who is giving a talk later that would really, really help you and gives you that advice to go sit in their session. It's just building those networks of connections helps make the community as a whole stronger. So actively participate. Don't just float in and float out of the day, again, hanging out with the same people you hang out with, having the same conversations that you have conversations with, doing the same thing that you do, your daily routine. Really challenge yourself to actively be a part of the event that you're at, be a part of the community that you're a part of. WordPress is so many things to so many people. I know that it's something unique to each and every one of you. And so share that, be open, be listening to the people around you. I saw a gentleman outside who was in a very, very deep conversation, which is not actually what I'm calling upon, but was in a conversation and saw a woman who was, like she didn't know where she was going, she was lost, she was like frantic, kind of like, Where, where's the room? He was like, excuse me, I'm sorry, I have to help her. Literally turned and asked her, what can I do, what can I help you do? He wasn't an organizer, he wasn't wearing a red shirt, I mean, I don't know him necessarily. I'm just literally walking in the hallway witnessing this happen and 
just took two minutes out of his day, two seconds out of his day, just to help this woman find the, the room she was supposed to go to. Those are the types of things. It doesn't have to be something as grand as getting up in front of a huge room and having a conversation or organizing a word camp. It can be something as simple as just pointing somebody in the right direction or sharing an idea that you have with them. I just wanted to share what's my first word camp. Yeah, please. I, I found out about it on a Facebook group called Advanced WordPress. There's a really cool, mm -hmm. amazing group on WordPress. And I saw how everybody was very helpful there. And it was interesting because anytime I joined any other groups on Facebook, it's exactly the opposite. No, I love that you mentioned that. So for those of you guys who don't know, the Advanced WordPress Facebook group is an open group that you can be a part of. It is moderated by people who are really um, knowledgeable in the WordPress community and basically is an open space for you to say, where should I have, you know, where should I host my site to, I'm using this theme and it broke my site down or, hi, I'm new and what do I do, what's WordPress? Um, it's really, really helpful and a great resource that I've heard multiple people call upon as something that has kind of helped inspire them to take the next step in their WordPress journey. Um, but yeah, just being well, receptive. Well, I like that on that group, like the way you describe mm -hmm. it. And it's so, it's such a stark contrast in how Facebook makes people very nasty. And very it is, and not every community is going to be as open as this community is. And so taking what you will from this conversation, and maybe it is not applicable to every community that you go into, but the good news is, is you guys all have one thing in common, WordPress, you're here, and we just touched on this community is really friendly and genuine and willing to help connect you to other people and other ideas. So take advantage of that kind of beautiful magic that happens here because it really is true. I mean, seriously, like, you know, being from America, I think, oh man, all the American WordCamps are, everybody's really friendly. Is it gonna be the same when I go to Canada? Is it gonna be the same when I go to WordCamp Europe and Spain? Every time. I mean, not that I have those thoughts now because I've definitely been exposed to it, but early on it's like, how is the WordPress community going to be different when I go overseas or when I go to a different country? And yes, you guys might speak maybe a different language or have a different dialect or do things a slightly different way, but everybody is so friendly and willing and genuine just to get you connected and share information. And, and just remember that if there was somebody who helped influence you to be here, to open yourself up, to do what you're doing with WordPress, you can be that person for somebody else too. So really quick, just to kind of help go through some ideas as far as networking. Um, give before you receive. So one of the things that I like to always kind of mention is don't go into this thinking what you're going to get out of it. Um, you should always just be willing to give yourself up and to put yourself out there and to give back to the community and you shouldn't really expect anything in return. But the good thing is, is you will always receive what you give tenfold, I swear, whether it's immediate or it is a week later or it is five years later. Again, like I've just gained so much from this WordPress community and it's all just by me being willing to put myself out there and help somebody else out. Um, ask for an introduction. We did it again, lights. For those of you who have been in the community, maybe you know some people. For those of you who are new, maybe you don't know some people. Connect with each other. I personally am more than willing to connect you with anybody that you think that you want to get to know. Maybe it's a plugin developer or an organizer because you want to learn to give back. Be, be willing to ask for those introductions because people are going to be willing to give you those connections back. Go for quality over quantity. So making sure that you're having really um, quality conversations with people. I mean, it's very simple, just making sure that you're not, you know, transactional. Like, I just want something from you, and so I'm just going to take something back. It's really being open to learning what I can do to help you, what you can do to help the community, and being authentic about it. Making sure that you follow up. Um, one of the biggest things that I see people do is they take business cards, and they put it in their pocket, and then they wash their pants, and then they lost that email address. Don't do that, don't be that person. One of the things that I do for my personal life is I take those business cards immediately and I follow up with them. Um, whether it's the day of or when I get back from the conference, I make an active, conscious decision to keep those connections going. And so don't just let those introductions or those people that you meet at WordCamp or a meetup go to waste. Make sure that you're following up with those people, you're actively having those conversations with them. Don't do all the work and then just let it fall, fall, fall to the wayside. Um, figure out what their passion is making sure that you're understanding what makes them them and why they came to WordCamp in the first place. Deepen your network pool. Diversity, I think this one is really key. Again, maybe go up to somebody who you think 
might not have the same background as you. Go out of your comfort zone. Talk to people who you might not have talked to before. And I hope that you guys have those conversations as you leave today and feel free to tweet me and tell me your stories because that's something that fuels me. I love when I hear that other people get connected because it's helping solve a, a problem for you or a challenge that you're running into. And so hearing how you're getting connected to other people is, is what makes this community this community. And then seek common ground. Again, don't be afraid. You all have one thing in common, it's WordPress. So whether you are a beginner or very experienced, you all started somewhere. And that's something, again, to point out. Those of you who have been in the WordPress community for a long time, you were new once upon a time, too. You went to your first WordCamp. I think a lot of people forget that. They see people who are maybe figureheads in the WordPress community. They think, I'm never going to know as much as they know, or I'm never going to get to meet them, or they're never going to have a conversation with me. Ask them. Ask them how they got started in WordPress. Who was the person who, who showed them what WordPress was? Where was their first meetup? I think we do. We forget that these, these people are just like you and me. I am just like you. Just because I've been to you know, X amount of WordCamps doesn't mean that, that I can't you know, help you get started and show you a little bit of the way, too. It's all about recipro reciprocating. That word's really hard. Reciprocating. So give back more than you take. Um, again, this is WordPress. The open source community is only made possible by your generous contributions, which happen in an array of ways. So for those of you, make.wordpress.org is basically, this is like a subset of the list. These are all the ways that you can give back to the WordPress community, whether it's through core, whether it's through plugins. Maybe you speak a bunch of different languages or just two languages, um, polyglots. You can help give back to the WordPress community by helping translate things into different languages. Um, for me, again, putting on events, I was an event manager. It was really easy for me to go in and put on a WordCamp, or not easy, but for me, that was a great way for me to give back to WordPress that maybe wasn't technical. But people, like the volunteers in the background, people need to, to help volunteer at WordCamps. Maybe you don't want to be a lead organizer, but you want to show up and you want to contribute by helping run a camera or helping mic up a speaker or helping show cards of how many minutes I have to go before they kick me out of this room. It doesn't matter what your ex expertise is. There are ways for you to give back to the WordPress community. And then for those of you in the Toronto area, um, if you don't know, the Toronto WordPress Meetup group is, is alive and well and waiting for you to get you connected to people. If you're in Montreal, I'm, I know Montreal has a WordCamp. I know Montreal has a Meetup group. I'm actually located here. Oh, perfect. So Just happen to be in Toronto, or Montreal for an event. Well, wherever you are, even my American friends, you know, there's meetups everywhere. If you just go to meetup.com and type in WordPress meetup, you know, whatever your city is, there's a group of people who wants to get connected and help connect you. So three simple rules in life. Touched on my, my nice closing. If you do not go after what you want, you will never have it. If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. And if you do not step forward, you will always be in the same place. Thank you. My name is Shada Tarabi. I'm at ShapTora on Twitter. I work at WP Engine. And thanks for, for being a part of my conversation today. Sure. Questions, stickers, business cards, hanging out with me after. Yeah, nobody? Everybody's great? Going to Shanta's talk? Yeah. Or stay here for Jordan's. Or Jordan's? Or mine. Or Alex's? Everybody's speaking. See, this is great. You guys are helping make the WordPress community a smarter place by allowing those of us who maybe aren't experts in your field glean something from your experience. Have fun at WordCamp today, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.